Now, Vox Africa caught up with Uganda's opposition leader, Kisa Besinje, whilst in London. Um, Besinje spoke about the tensions between Gabon's political parties. Here's more. Well, what is happening in Gabon, I think, is uh, precisely what is, uh, uh, you know, happening in very many other countries. Uh, because the Bongo dynasty, which uh, uh, the current uh, leader uh, is seeking to perpetuate, is a dynasty that has been based on control of power by a few. And um, uh, the bon uh, Gabon is a very you know, highly endowed country with a lot of oil, with a lot of resources, forests, and so on, uh, with a very small population. Yes, a very small population. But nonetheless, you find that the population is poor and marginalized. And uh, so uh, the rejection of uh, Mr. Bongo in the election uh, is not surprising. Neither is what has been done to push back that popular will. If uh, the uh, election is um, a result of another elite group manipulating to push out the bongo group without the popular demand increasing at the bottom, it, it may happen, you may have Bongo indeed pushed out, but without the fundamental political transformation happening. So I am not very conversant with the state of popular mobilization, but I have a sense that uh, that is where a lot of effort needs to be, and it may not be there yet. Quite often... Um, People change opportunistically, so you have an, an, an elite maneuvering to replace another elite group without a popular control over the elite. And that, to me, seems to be still the challenge in Gabon. But any change is better than no change at all.